Hello, everyone, and welcome to this week's Astrology News Report, an alternate view of world events as seen through the lens of Vedic astrology, presented by yours truly, Ron Berger. Today is March 26, 2017. In this segment, we take a look at the week that was and see how the planet's patterns in the zodiac matched up with the past week's events. Last week got pretty chaotic with every day bringing more of that breaking news stuff hitting the screen. Up in the zodiac, Mercury, planet of communications, and therefore the media, was conjunct Uranus, planet of sudden events and the unusual. So, the news cycle got pretty exciting. Last week, the Republicans got their first major defeat. After all sorts of drama, they failed to pass their American Health Care Act, which ended up pitting Republicans against Republicans. Or, as Pogo would say, we have met the enemy, and he is us. The problem was obvious from the planetary pattern. Venus, the planet of compromise and agreement, was both retrograde and deeply combust. In other words, Venus was trashed. Meanwhile, Mars has been strong in its own sign Aries. Mars is the planet of impatience. The rush to get it done was a big part of the problem. From the White House, President Trump tried all he could to compel recalcitrant GOP House members to vote for the AHCA, but to no avail. Remember, Mr. Trump has Mars conjunct his ascendant. If cooperation is not forthcoming, he'll resort to force. But despite his efforts to corral the Congress and his threats, even ultimatums, he went down to defeat on this one. Mercury, the planet of making choices, and therefore voting, was combined with Uranus, the planet of freedom, independence, and rebellion, and both were being influenced by Jupiter, planet of ideology. It was the so-called Freedom Caucus of the ultra-conservative House representatives that refused to vote for the bill, sealing its demise. Uranus is also the planet of realization, in mutual aspect with Jupiter, planet of truth. Indeed, the Republicans have had their moment of truth. Or, as Paul Ryan put it, Obamacare will be the law of the land for the foreseeable future. Last week's chaos wasn't limited to the defeat of the AHCA. In particular, the Russia Gate thing has been spinning out of control. It started off with a bang on Monday. FBI Chief James Comey testified in front of an open hearing of the House Intelligence Committee and, without giving particulars, did confirm publicly for the first time that, yes indeed, there is an ongoing FBI investigation exploring the link between the Trump campaign and the Russians. Comey was conspicuously tight-lipped about any details, which, of course, raised even more suspicions that, evidently, there is something worth hiding. This immediately put a big dark cloud hanging over the Trump White House. The potential of an espionage charge? Made by the chief of the agency with the authority to investigate the president himself. The result of all this, both the AHCA defeat and the Russia connections, is that the president's credibility has been shredded. Similarly, the ability of the Republicans to pass major legislation is now in doubt. The first two months of the new administration has been a disaster. In Vedic astrology, Saturn is the planet of restriction and delay as well as the planet of doubt and fear. Note that Saturn is now in the early degrees of Sagittarius, 
putting it in the first house of the USA chart, the house that stands for the very identity of the country. So, the U.S. is now in the midst of an identity crisis. And, on a perhaps lighter note, Ivanka Trump, the president's eldest daughter, is getting her own office in the West Wing. Along with this comes security clearance, entitling her to view classified documents. There is no precedent for this unnamed position, and no salary either. Obviously, being so close to her daddy and the seat of power increases her status and potential influence. Whatever ethical obligations are implied is unclear, but certainly she and her various businesses stand to benefit. There is no published birth time for Ivanka, so there's no official Vedic astrology birth chart. But, based on the facts of her life, I rectified the birth time, and this is giving her a Sagittarius rising chart. Note here how the ninth house of the father is Leo with Mars in it, which happens to be identical to her father's ascendant. Anyway, this chart makes sense because this means that Saturn, the planet of responsibility, the reality check planet, is now transiting in her ascendant. Meanwhile, Jupiter, planet of opportunity and increase, is transiting in her tenth house of status and position, reputation and renown. This is interesting. She is assuming a position of responsibility which will increase her reputation. And we all hope she will be a positive influence on her father, who does seem to value her opinions. There'll be more about Ivanka in future episodes on this video blog. And now, once again, my little pitch for donations. If you appreciate what this YouTube channel does for you, please help keep it going by visiting the donation page and making a contribution. Just click on the touch or touch the donation card you see here. Thanks, and until next week.